11 continues now with your questions about our special assignment unit investigation. Big rigs, big risks. Tonight we have answers. Peeling back the layers of the tragic semi-trailer accident that killed two young teenagers. Did their mom behind the wheel share any of the blame for what happened? Investigative reporter Eric Flack walks us through the crash step by step. We're getting lots of shares and comments on our Facebook page about our investigation into the laws that require rear guards on tractor trailers. Now, those laws are designed to stop vehicles from slamming underneath a trailer in what's known as an underride accident. Marianne Karth's two teenage daughters died in an underride accident, and after we shared her story and her mission to get stronger rear guard regulations, many of you reacted like Clint Butler, who wrote, pay attention to the road when you're driving and you won't have to worry about anyone's bumper in front of you. Tammy Stemple added, lack of driver attention. People pay better attention, would be less accidents. Don't blame big trucks for lack of attention. So let's be very clear about what happened in this accident using this accident report from the Georgia State Patrol. This is Erin Spate. She's our special assignment unit investigative producer. She's been working with me on this story from the beginning. Erin, there were two tractor trailers involved in this accident, right? That's right. Truck number one was in the left lane. Truck number two was up ahead in the right lane. And Mary Ann's car was here and actually got hit in the rear by truck number one, right? right? Truck number one started it and hit her car. With such force that it actually did a 180 and ended up jammed underneath the rear of this second tractor trailer. And that is where 17-year-old Analia and 13-year-old Mary were. They both died and that is the most tragic part about all of this. Investigators would later rule that it was the driver of this first tractor trailer that was at fault in the crash. Correct. He was arrested and charged with failing to maintain his lane. And with both the girls, he was charged with homicide by vehicle. Secretary. Yeah, he ended up having to take a plea deal in that case. He got two years probation and lost his commercial driver's license for the duration of those two years. But here's the thing. This really isn't about who's right or wrong in an accident, right? Right. This is all about saving lives. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety told me, look, they are pushing for stronger rear guard regulations on tractor trailers because mistakes happen on the road. And the goal is to make sure those mistakes don't result in serious injury or death. For the WUSA 9 Special Assignment Unit, I'm Eric Flack. While the federal government doesn't track the numbers specifically, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety says hundreds of people a year die in rear underride crashes.